been watching Low Country Money Talk. You've made it to our final segment, and guess what? We've been talking money. Yeah. And you know what? We've had a lot to talk about. Yes. We've talked so far about Roth conversions, mm -hmm. so make sure you uh, go back and revisit that. This is all on our website as well as on uh, your website, Revolutionary sure. Financial Group. So if you missed that, we're also talking a little bit about bonds today in relation to rising interest sure. rates. So some great information there. We're going to talk a little bit about some current events to round us out here today. Of current events. So this is interesting. Uh, the jobs report. Let's let's discuss that. I, I want to talk about this particularly because I find that the information is counterintuitive. Yes. So I like walk that us through. Word. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, sure. So uh, crazy stuff on uh, about the job reports this week. So we were told by the White House early in the week, I think it was Monday, hey, don't expect much. This is going to be a terrible week for jobs. And, you know, the Omicron and all that's going to be in this job report. So we're probably going to be down. Well, you know, then you had the Wall Street types and all the economists said, well, we can expect about 150,000. So everybody is figuring, oh, this is going to be a bad thing. And then the, the report came out at $467,000, okay. way over the one fifty. Way over. And yet then the market responded negatively to that. And that's the part that <laughs> is so mind-boggling to yeah. me. Okay, so walk us through how right. that happened. So we would think, hey, this is good news. People are getting back to work. The labor participation went up, and there the unemployment went up. It's like, well, why'd it go up? Well, because there's now more people considered to be looking for a job. So we went from 3.9 to 4% or so, but there's 62% now in the labor participation. But the market did not like it. And the reason the market didn't like it is because the market is worried about interest rate increases. Mm -hmm. And many people say, well, the Fed's going to raise it four times, five times, whatever it may be. And that usually leads to a slower of the economy, less homes being purchased, higher interest uh, mortgage rates, uh, companies have to refinance their debt. So it usually slows the economy. So that's why the market acted negatively to those big job numbers. You right. Know, so. so interesting, a, a little bit of an economic slowdown as a result of something that you would think would really be positive. For the market the, the stock market loves low interest rates <laughs> zero well, if possible so any true. fear of those moving up or moving up too quickly you know the market is going to pull back on that right absolutely kind of well it, it does make sense when you talk us through sure. the whys behind it let's talk a little bit for our viewers who you know this the volatile market is you know causing us to have some concerns sure. and because we're just really not sure what to expect day to day even in within one week we could be up then we could be down mm -hmm. so how do we really take a look at our own portfolios know how much risk we have and whether or not we're in the right risk category just I think that's the biggest issue for especially retirees and their health mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if you're worried, all you ever heard the, the saying, you know, it's not what you eat, it's what's eating you. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So if you're glued to this stock market, to this TV every day, and you see these huge swings, I mean, first of all, you need to make sure that you're taking the appropriate amount of risk mm -hmm. and not too much risk. Right. So if you're getting sick at your stomach and all this, maybe it's maybe too much risk. Too much risk. So we've invested uh, at, at Revolutionary Financial Group, the team, all of us. We've invested in a risk assessment software, and basically this is you answers that you give to questions and a report is generated and it says hey you know here's your based upon what you said and how you feel your risk number is 30 and then if I look at the way you're invested <laughs> you're you know maybe you're at 70 on the risk yeah and this is going to create some health issues and some problems so I would advise people for all of our viewers we'll do that assessment at no cost it usually makes sense for those that have 500,000 investable now the other thing is that it will show you based upon your current investments this could be your reward in percentages but on the downside this is how much you could be negative on your 
Sure. Them. Okay, and that's a good point too. So you don't want to be overly risky, but right. at the same time, you want to be at the appropriate amount of risk for where your what your goals are and With where you are. With this volatile market, you really need to get this done. Also, we want to do a portfolio analysis and judge your performance to the overall market. We'll do that for our viewers at no cost as well. Contact us at Revolutionary Financial Group, our email. Uh, Rachel's the one that typically takes care of that, so please get a hold of us. We'd be glad to to de do these assessments for you. That's good. You know what? It's nice to stop and really take a look at the big picture, see what you're doing, and have a professional on your side that's doing that, and you have a lot of tools to help sure. folks. So Absolutely. It's been a fun show. Oh, I love it. Are we done already? Wow. That's it. All right, Phil. We'll see you next All time. Right. We'll Thanks. see you next time on Low Country Money Talk. See ya.